The improved layer comps in Photoshop are now more intuitive than ever before. Let's go ahead and take a look. I've got my layer comps panel showing. If yours isn't showing, you can choose window and then layer comps. Now, I've got two states of this document which I want to keep track of and I want to be able to quickly toggle between them. So to do that, I will use my layer comps. First of all, I've got these three layers showing here. So I'll go ahead and capture this state by clicking New Layer Comp. I'll call this the blue state since the images are rather blue and I'm going to keep track of the visibility, position, and appearance. When I click OK, you'll notice on the Layers Comps palette that we now have new icons that show exactly which of these different options are being stored within that state. Now let's toggle off those three images and I'm going to toggle on three other images. I want to go ahead and capture this as well so I'll click New Layer Comp and I'll name this Brown. And again, I will apply or keep track of all three of these different options. Now we can see it's very easy to go back and forth between them by just clicking to the left of the layer comp. Now let's say at this point in time I realize that I want those stars to actually be below the images. But if I move them, both of these layer comps, well, you can see that they're recording the position of all of my layers. So I'm going to toggle those both off by just clicking on the icon and that will allow me to select the star layer and reposition these down lower. Yet when I select either one of these layer comps, you'll notice that nothing has changed as far as the stars go because I've turned off that attribute so that it's no longer keeping track of it. So that's one feature that's going to be super helpful when you're working with layer comps. Another new feature is the ability to actually synchronize a layer across multiple layer comps. So let's move to this image for a moment. I'll do a quick select all and copy it to the clipboard. I don't need that open anymore. We'll return back to this image and I'll use Command V or Control V to paste. Now this is my texture layer that I'm adding. And I want to go ahead and and I want to go ahead and reposition this layer below the stars and I actually want to create a clipping mask. So under layer, create clipping mask and that will clip the texture so that it only will appear in the photo area and then I'll change the blend mode for that to overlay. Now we can see that that's overlaying the texture on the photos below. What I would like to do is I would like to select that texture layer and update all of my layer comps to now include that layer. So if I select both of the layer comps by holding down the shift key in my layer comps panel, I can use the flyout menu here and choose to update my layers. Now you'll notice when I move back and forth between the brown layer comp and the blue layer comp, both of those have that texture layer as a part of those comps. So it's been synchronized or updated throughout all of those layer comps. And let's make one more change here. On these three brown layers, I'll add a simple drop shadow and we'll just reposition that shadow out a bit. Click OK. I'll then right mouse click in order to copy that layer style and then I'll select the other two layers layer 2 and layer 3 and I'll paste that again by right mouse clicking and pasting the layer style. I wanted to show you this because you don't have to update all of your layer comps. If for example I only wanted to update the brown layer comp, I could simply select that layer comp and then either use the flyout menu in order to update the layer appearance or you'll notice we have icons right down here at the bottom of the layer comps panel where I could simply click and update it. So now when I go back to the blue layer comp, you'll notice there are no shadows. When I move back to the brown layer comp, they appear again. Now let's move to this next image and I want to show you this incredibly powerful new feature. Now you might be using it for maybe mocking up a website or different buttons and different button states, but I'm going to show you a very simple example here of how layer comps can now work inside of a smart object. So you can see here on my layers panel, I have layer 3. 
Layer 3 is a smart object, and if I double click on the icon here, it will edit the contents of that smart object in its own window. You can see now that I have multiple layers that I can toggle on and off, and in fact, I've actually created three different layer comps for three different states or three different instances of this banner that I'm creating. So let's take a look at layer comp 1, here's layer comp 2, and here's layer comp 3. So once I've got the layer comps inside my smart object, and I'll go ahead and just close this without saving any changes, I can actually access those layer comps that are within or embedded inside of that smart object. Now you might expect that these would be found on the layer comps panel, but I can actually create additional layer comps for this document, right? So what I need to do is click on my layer in the layers panel on that smart object, and then you'll notice in the properties panel, I can now choose those layer comps that I actually had created within that smart object document. So you can imagine this would allow you to put a number of different images or a number of different buttons with different states within a smart object and then apply filters like I've done right here. You'll notice I've got a filter gallery applied to that smart object, so that means that filter is applied to all of those individual layer comps, and I've got a gradient fill layer right here above my smart object that is also going to affect all of those different layer comps. So it's a really powerful way to be able to work with multiple images and multiple layouts and be able to actually apply different effects and filters to that layout. Excellent. I'm sure that the new feature enhancements will be extremely helpful for anyone that needs to mock up different layouts for everything from banners to websites to mobile apps.